FE exam preparation is a significant investment of time, effort, and also money. In this video, we are going to go over the typical reimbursement policies of most of the employers that my students are working for, and I'll share some tips and advice that can potentially help you getting reimbursed for the costs associated with your FE exam preparation. But before we jump into the content, I would really appreciate if you could like this video and click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. So most of the students that enroll in my course are already working full time. And there's a smaller percentage, I would say about 20 to 30% of the students that enroll into the course that are either in the final year of their studies because they want to fast track their exam preparation, they want to enter the workforce with an EIT certificate, or they have just graduated and they're looking for work. And majority of these students get reimbursed by their employers for all the costs associated with FE exam preparation. So what are the typical reimbursement policies that employers have when it comes to FE exam preparation? The most common reimbursement policy that I've seen is full reimbursement after passing the exam. So this is how it works. Employers are willing to pay for your FE exam registration fees at NCS, which is about $175. They're willing to pay for the practice exams, the books, and the courses but they will only reimburse you after you have passed the exam. So upfront, you'll have to pay for all of these resources and all of these costs. And only after you pass the exam, then you basically submit your expense report, attach all the receipts for the books that you purchased from Amazon, from NCS, the receipt for taking the exam, and even the cost of the EIT certificate by for registering with your local state and the course that you might have taken. But they will only reimburse you after you have passed the exam. So upfront, you're paying, and then down the road, they simply reimburse you. The second most common policy that I've seen when it comes to reimbursement for FE exam preparation is the allowance or the subsidy structure, where employer would have a set budget, let's say $1,000 per employee for FE exam preparation, and they will give access to those funds to the employees upfront so that you don't have to pay, be out of pocket and wait until passing the exam in order to get your reimbursement, you will be told that, okay, this is like $500, $800, or $1,000 budget or allowance or subsidy for you, and you can access it right away. You can go ahead and buy the practice exams, you can register for the exam, your EID certification, get the course, whatever you need, and use it to prepare for the exam. So the good thing obviously is that you have access to the funds right away as compared to the previous case where you were out of pocket um, and you had to wait until passing the exam in order to basically uh, file for reimbursement, which can take about four to five to six months, depending on how quickly you're able to prepare for the exam and pass the exam. So the first reimbursement policy is still the most common one, but every now and then I do come across the second reimbursement policy, which I believe is more generous as compared to the first one. The third reimbursement policy that I see a little bit rarely though, is a 50% or 70% or 80% cost covering. So your employer will reimburse you, but not for the whole amount of the cost that was associated with your FE exam preparation, but they will say that, okay, I'm going to cover about 50 or 60 or 70% and up to a certain limit in some cases, and then you can go ahead and use the resources that you need. So in this case as well, if they are putting a cap on the percentage that they are reimbursing you for, generally what happens is that you have to, again, pass the exam first and then pay for all the expenses upfront. And then once you pass the exam, then you get the reimbursement. And the fourth and final reimbursement policy that I see very, very rarely is zero reimbursement, where the employer basically tells the employee that this is your own personal project. You have to spend your own time, your effort, and all of your own money in order to get this done. Now, when an employer, especially in a hot job market, sends this message to the employee, then the employee would take it with a grain of salt because it tells the employee that the employer is not interested in the employee's career growth. And when the employee gets a FEEIT certificate, especially after getting the PE license, I mean, the chances of the employer being able to retain this particular employee are going to be very, very low because at that point in time, you know, the employee will have more negotiation power and will be able to potentially find better opportunities elsewhere. So that's why very few employers 
take this route. And uh, if your employer does that, like have an open conversation with your employer and try and convince them how your FE exam preparation is helping you refresh your undergraduate level engineering skills, how it will allow you to get your EID certificate, and how having a PE on the team is going to, in the long run, hopefully save them cost. Because if your employer is right now using other PEs, contracting or consulting other PEs for drawing reviews and consultation, then it's costing them money. And if your employer doesn't value the PE license, then maybe your goals and the employer's goals are not aligned. So definitely invest your time, effort and money in growing your own career and if you feel that it's not a good fit for you in the long run, then once you get your PE license, you have a lot more opportunities knocking at your door. I'm looking forward to hearing the reimbursement policy at your workplace when it comes to FE exam preparation. Please let me know in the comments section whether your employer fully reimburses, partially reimburses, has a sub sort of a subsidy allowance set up or does not reimburse at all. And what are the different types of expenses associated with FE exam preparation that they're willing to reimburse you for.